Hi everyone, we've got another very special video for you today. I'm going to be looking at Metal Slug 7 for the Nintendo DS. It was released in 2008, and there were a couple of other versions that were released later on, but I'll get to those at the appropriate time. So if you've been, you know, watching Project COE for any amount of time, you know that I'm a big SNK fan, and you also know that I love the Metal Slug series. And yesterday, after reviewing Alien Infestation, which I highly recommend you go check out, it's an excellent game, I was in the mood for a little more 2D love. So I popped in Metal Slug 7, and I figured, ah, oh, what the hell, I'll just give the game a quick little uh, run-through, and uh, give you guys another review. Figured, why the heck not, right? So let's jump on in. Best feature, by far, is the fact that this is Metal Slug. So for better or worse, it's exactly what you'd expect it to be. It's crazy hard, features ridiculous humor, and has some of the most spot-on gameplay you'll ever experience. That's what makes this series so awesome. You got a lot of different weapons that are really fun to use. There's a bunch of slugs, which are... Um, vehicles of mass destruction. There's basically three different ones in the game, if I'm not mistaken. And story-wise, it's, uh, I believe it's a prequel to Metal Slug 4. You Die Hard fans can, um, can clarify that for me or not, but I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, animations are exactly what you'd expect, very little slowdown. You basically work your way from the left part of the screen to the right part of the screen, shooting everything in sight and dodging hundreds of billions of bullets. It's pretty much that simple. It hasn't changed much at all since the series debuted in 1996. Unique to this version are a couple of different things. Primarily the fact that the bottom screen is used as sort of like a map. Um, it allows you to sort of pinpoint where some of the hostages are. Hostages, as always, are really required to, um, to find and locate because they give you uh, power-ups. And the power-ups are about the only thing you're going to use to survive because like I said before the game is damn hard as it always has been unless of course you play on easy which is the footage you're seeing right now just because I wanted to show you some of the um, the stages further on so I was like ah oh, what the hell I'll just blast through it I make this look like a joke on here but play it on normal or hard and yeah it's not so easy anyways the map also lets you know how far you are from um, completing the stage. Of course, if you actually look at the map, odds are you're going to die because you have to keep your eye really focused on the screen in order to um, to make it out, you know, because you got to dodge all these bullets like constantly. Another thing I really enjoyed was that SNK stuck to their guns, as they say. I was really happy that the game used the buttons and the D-pad. It could have been really easy for the company to just say, you know what, we're going to slap on some touch controls, but they didn't do that, and that rules. Because not every game requires touch controls. So I was really, really pleased about that. I also like the fact that there are six playable characters. I know some people are like, wow, six playable characters, whoop you doo But you got to think that... There's, this series has been around for years, like I say, since 1996, so this, this release was 12 years after the original game. And so there are a lot of different characters from the series, and they each have their own personalities and things like that. So, you know, this is fan service, and yes, damn right, that's a pro. Also enjoyed the fact that it was very portable friendly. The series has always been an arcade series. In other words, you just pick it up for five minutes or play it for as long as you can possibly stand it without ripping your hair out. And so, you know, it's just a, by very nature it's portable friendly because of the fact that, you know, your quarter wasn't meant to last you all that long in the arcade. And the same thing here. So even though you may have to replay the first stage 20,000 times, it's okay because it all basically culminates in you becoming a better Metal Slug player, and that's the whole point. At no point in time is this game ever boring. The gameplay is essentially what pulls everything together. It's just fantastic. It's got spot-on controls. 
You've got a um, couple of different weapons that you can cycle through by using the L and R buttons. You've got your grenades you can lob. You've got, like I say, the slugs you can jump in and, and take down enemies. And because the, the controls are so tight and the gameplay is so fresh and the animation is gorgeous and the music is great, everything just comes together in a wonderful, wonderful package. If you are an SNK or a Metal Slug fan, by all means pick this up because it's a really fun fun game and it can be had for really really cheap now unfortunately there is one major major downside to the game and this is ultimately what destroys the entire package and that is the fact that there is no multiplayer whatsoever not local not online not anything and that's like having one twix bar uh, well, in a Twix candy bar. Only one? What is that? That's lunacy. Seriously, though. Like, the whole point of Metal Slug has always been to grab a buddy and enjoy the mayhem together and laugh and have a good time. That is why SNK, like, made all these different arcade games to begin with, was just to bring people together, have a good time, hope to make some money out of it. And with Metal Slug 7, it's, it's almost like half of the soul of the game is missing with that one feature taken out. Now at the beginning of the review I had mentioned that uh, there were other versions of the game released. There was Metal Slug Double X which was released on the PSP via the PSN right now you can go and download it. It was just a free title from um, PlayStation Plus subscribers. I'm not sure if that's still in effect or not but uh, by all means go check it out. Hey for free why the hell not? Uh, that one allowed for local multiplayer, but unfortunately the game wasn't really tweaked in any way. In other words, it didn't make use of the PSP's widescreen. It was still a 4x3 uh, title, like the original DS one, which was a little unfortunate. But the gameplay still holds up tremendously well, obviously. And with uh, multiplayer mode, I mean, that's what more could you ask for except for it to be online. Well, enter the Xbox Live uh, version on the Xbox 360 of Metal Slug Double X. But the problem with this one was, again, the graphics weren't um, upscaled to fit the high definition display. So I found the graphics to be a lot more muddied. And again, with the original aspect ratio 4x3, if you wanted it to be widescreen, you had to stretch it. Um, these might be minor complaints, but it just it, it ruins, you know, the the overall appeal. I mean, if you go back and play Metal Slug 3 on the AES or the MVS, that's pretty much the pinnacle of the series, in my opinion. And when you, you go and you play something like that, and then you play something like this, you're like, well, what the hell? Like, that title holds up tremendously well, whereas this is, you know, it falters a little bit because of that one feature. Now, had multiplayer been included in this from the get-go on the DS version, the version the game was originally created for, then I think this would actually be fondly remembered by SNK fans as one of the better S uh, SNK, one of the better Metal Slug uh, games ever created. But anyways, as it is right now, like I say, it's a very fun game. If you can find it for cheap, I highly recommend you go pick it up. Just keep in mind that you have to play this alone if you're going to play the DS version. For the full written review, hit up projectcoe.com. I've included the score in the written review. And as always, thank you very much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll be back soon with another one. Do 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 do